And welcome back to Georgia Southern Football 96. The Eagles at home for a big Southern Conference game against VMI. And Coach, the Georgia Southern offense uh, really struggling a little bit putting points on the board lately. We seem to get plenty of yards, mm -hmm. and we were close to 400 again yesterday in yardage, but we just don't uh, get the ball in the end zone. There's, we uh, shoot ourselves in the foot, I guess, is what we do. We right. uh, The first drive, we're right down there and, and have a fumble, and uh, we seem to be doing that or a penalty or something. So well, it's, it's, it's been hard for us, and we need to get more points. And the Eagles are going to try to rectify that problem against VMI. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. Go up to Paulson Stadium. A beautiful day for football. The Eagle, the cheerleaders, and the coin toss. Georgia Southern is able to win the coin toss, and we're going to defer. You wanted to see how the defense was going to perform. Well, I, I don't. We went back to our standard procedure mm -hmm. at uh, Chattanooga. The ground was wet, so we opted to receive right. theirs. Uh, we play it by air, the wind conditions, other things we have to take into consideration. Right. A little muff there by the receiver of uh, VMI, and after that, the defense sort of relaxed a little bit. Well, they slowed down, and that's what happens. Fortunately, there was a penalty. Fortunately for us, sure, there was a penalty against VMI. Their big fullback, 250 pounds, takes it for 17 yards up the middle. Quarterback hands off or fakes a handoff. No, he did hand it off. That was a good third down play, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a fine series right here. Now it's fourth down, and the uh, tailback draw with Haskins. Great play there by the defensive line to stop Haskins. Turns the ball over to Georgia Southern, and you open it up, going to the air. Right, it's one of our favorite play actions, and Corey makes a great catch. It's too bad he couldn't stay on his feet. Beautiful catch. Roderick Russell's going to take the ball down to the three, and then down to the one. And then you're going to run the pitch. There it is. And it, I think it probably would have scored, but uh, Corey, I think, was looking at the defender mm -hmm. rather than the ball, and we turned it over. Now, really, we're playing pretty well, and I think we're hyped, but at the same time, a mistake like that can take a lot of the edge off. Definitely. VMI fumbles, but they're able to recover their own fumble. Lester here is going to take it on the option and cut straight up the middle and get about 12 yards. They ran the option a little better than, I thought, uh, than we thought they might. Right. And he's able to run it again for another 10 yards or so down the field. They're getting close, and they're going to hand it off to Haskins. Good defensive stand there. Good job by Von Sally's Allen. Right. And you can see it uh, again here, or the pass, rather. They're going to pass an incomplete, going for the touchdown. Good defense there. But he goes back to the pass one more time and hits his back right hits across the, back, the middle. Coming out of the backfield, and he takes it in the end zone. That makes it 7 to nothing VMI early in the first quarter, but we get the ball back, and they're able to hit the corners well. That's Tobias on the pitch. Uh, we had a holding penalty on this on this pitch, but uh, I think it gives us an idea of what we can do. We come right back with it, and Corey has a good run up front of our bench. He's going to run it on the other side and moving the ball down the field. You can see here, Kenny's going to run the pitch to this Corey was a again. Fourth down, and we didn't make it. We right. had uh, missed uh, miss block at the corner, and that that stopped the drive. We turned the ball over to VMI. They're not able to move it, so they're going to punt it back to us. Corey's going to take the punt for about a five yard return. Georgia Southern's going to be in the shotgun. Kenny with a interception here and we've seen a few of those well, unfortunately the ball was thrown high and uh, right. actually probably would have been better if maurice hadn't even touched it the guy might not have been able to hang on to it the eagle defense holds and forces vmi to kick a field goal that makes it 10 to nothing vmi and georgia southern sort of scratching their heads but the offense as you said was moving it's right. going to move at key times now, it's got to be put together and we just haven't got it uh, consistently put together yet tobias steverson with a nice run kenny with a pass to the flats and Maurice Bing. You went to the pass a good deal yesterday. It seemed yeah, to work for you. I think we ended up throwing uh, 19 passes mm -hmm. and, and Kenny completed nine of them. So I, it, it worked pretty well. This is uh, Haskins on his long run of the day. 53 yards, I think it was. Caught by LeVar Rainey, our freshman defensive back. Nice play. Nice Great play touchdown saving LeVar. tackle, but they were able to go in. Haskins takes it in. Three minutes to go in the half. 17 nothing VMI. And here come the Eagles, bound and determined to score. A nice pass in the middle to Roderick. There's Roderick out of the backfield. He makes a great run and, and jumps out of bounds, which was a real smart move to save yep. the clock for us. Here he is on the draw. On a third and 31 play, you hand it on the draw, and it worked. You caught him off guard, and Roderick's able to get it down to give you about a fourth and two. Another good job of getting out of bounds. And we get it down, we get close, and Kenny's going to smell the end zone and Sees take it, it in. 
That was an outstanding drive, and it gave us a lift we had to have right prior to halftime. Believe me, it was sure. uh, it was important for us. It would have been tough going in 17 to nothing against VMI. The Eagles are at least able to get some points on the board, get some momentum going into the locker room. Right. That was it was key for us. Believe me. It was a great uh, effort by the Eagles. Don't go away. We'll have a look at the second half highlights. But first, our halftime interview coming up right after this. Welcome back to Georgia Southern Football 96. Georgia Southern VMI at half right now. But, you know, Georgia Southern has something other than a football program. They have a great university, and that's what the students are there for. And you have some... Uh, Pretty good uh, student athletes. We have some outstanding student athletes. As a matter of fact, we have two that are in graduate school that mm -hmm. are playing for us this year, and Lee Brooks and Derek Austin that have finished their baccalaureate work, and, uh, uh, and we've got uh, probably 15 to 20 that are above three points. So it's we're proud of that, and that's that's the real reason for being there. That's right. And you've got some of the football players. You had one academic All-American last year, Edward Thomas. Let's take a special look at the middle linebacker. The 1996 Georgia Southern Eagles are loaded with great players, but senior linebacker Edward Thomas is one of the team's number one leaders. Edward is not only a defensive leader, but he has also accepted his role as one of the leaders on the Eagle football team. I am pretty much a leader, but um, unlike others, I'm a leader more by example than by, um, by verbal or talking or whatnot. Because um, I think that um, anyone can kind of like talk a good game and say what they, can, they plan to do and tell you how to do it, but it's a person that goes out and shows you how to do it and does it well and does it each time he goes out. Edward not only leads by example on the field, but he also leads by example in the classroom. Edward is majoring in linguistics and intermodal transportation and carries a 3.6 GPA. This type of classroom performance led Edward to be named to the 1995 Academic All-American team. I'm really proud of that because I know a lot of guys try but don't make that, don't achieve that goal. So um, I think that's a good example for my, my brother and all of my peers you know, to see that um, I can come out here and play ball and do well in athletics, but also do well in academics. Even though Edward knows the importance of getting an education, his first love is still football. And Edward has faith that the Eagles will have an outstanding season despite the rough beginning. Right now, my immediate goals are for us um, to really kind of grow up and mature as a team. You know, to really, I mean, I know we we come together as a team, as a brotherhood or whatnot, we're going to win football games. So that's my immediate goal. And um, long-term goals are, um, are probably to win the conference championship and national championship. Another of Edward's long-term goals is to hopefully play in the NFL. But Edward knows that even if his dream does not come true, he has his education to fall back on. Of course, that's a dream all, all players have. I have a dream of continuing trying to go pro. But um, if I don't, um, I'm realistic. I know that um, I may or may not um, make it. And, um, so I plan on going on in my major. But no matter what happens to Edward Thomas in the future, he will always have some fond memories as he prepares to walk out of the Georgia Southern spotlight and towards his future. And we want to thank Angela Kane and Richard Holsey for putting that special piece together for us. And coach, it's got to make you feel good to know you have some strong players, but you also have smart players. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a satisfaction that you work for and you want. And of course, the NCAA helps us by putting in certain standards before you can recruit them and before they're mm -hmm. allowed to play. So, but that's that's our reason for being in existence at Georgia Southern, and it's an important part of it. And Georgia Southern has always done a great job with their student athletes, and some of those student athletes are on the field playing against VMI. Let's get a look at how they feel how the game went. That's what we did. Um, it was really hard, but we knew we had to do it. We had to end this losing streak and get back on the um, right track. You can't start off a winning streak unless you get a win. And uh, today, you know, we got us a, a close victory, but no matter how close it is, it's a victory. And uh, we're going to go into practice next week with this on our mind. You know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, to continue, you know, with the hard work we put in this week and the hard work we'll put in from the week's on, hopefully continue to win. Yeah, I mean, uh, we went in halftime. The coaches, you know, gave us a good chew and I told us, hey, y'all got to play better. You know, we came out the first half and we just didn't play football, you know, so we came back out in the second half, you know, knew what we had to do and just gave it to them. Uh, they got a couple of, you know, big first downs, you know, like you say, but hey, we just had to stop them, you know, hold them. And they missed the field goal. Second half, we said we was going to do it, regardless of what happened. You see, we still had two penalties on one drive and still managed to score because we had, we was determined to do that. Georgia Southern still got a lot of football to play in the second half. We're going to take a look at the highlights of Georgia Southern VMI, the second half coming up right after this. Six, I'm Scott Pierce along with Eagles head coach Frank Elwood. The Eagles at the half trailing VMI 17-6. to 
And coach, you go into halftime, and what are you telling the players? Well, it, it really, what we do at halftime is to try to get all the pieces put together. Mm -hmm. The coaching staffs meet, uh, offense meets, the defensive coaches meet just for a few minutes. Uh, there are always a few players that have to be seen by either the physician mm -hmm. or the trainers, and we get them squared away, and they and we try to get them hydrated with as much liquid as we can, and then we sit down and set the tone for the second half and, and make whatever corrections we have to. Yesterday was a matter of, of firing up a little bit because right. we, we were down. Well, most, you know, most fans think you go into the locker room and you spend the entire 20 minutes just either saying, okay, we're doing fine, or, or blessing out the players, but that's really, you don't have that much time for the talking part of it. There too. really isn't. When it comes right down to it, and actually talking to the players, it's probably less than 10 minutes total mm -hmm. time. Um, it's just a matter of, of regrouping and getting your thoughts back together and getting your concentration set for the second half and what has to be done. Well, whatever you did, it seems like it worked because the Eagles came out and took the ball down the field. Let's take a look at the second half highlights of Georgia Southern and VMI. We're set to receive the kick and a nice return here. That's Rico again. This kind of set the tone for the second half. He bounced off that hit and mm -hmm. got us an extra 10 yards. Nice down the field. Rico Tutt running the ball, and <clears throat> we're going to move the ball here, pitching it to Tobias Steverson. The Tobias option. made a real nice cut there. And, got, and I think he ended up with 60-some yards, I think, for Tobias on the day, which was really good. Another one of those passes from Kenny to Maurice. He's able to get a first down out of it. Maurice is having a real good year. Of course, Kenny's throwing well. And there's the end around reverse. Great block at the top there by Maurice Bang. Outstanding. And Rico's able to take it in. You can see it again. The reverse. Rico's able to see a lot of pavement, a lot of green. And then thanks to a good block by Maurice Bing, we're able to get it in the end zone. And with the extra point, that makes it 17 to 13, VMI. And the Eagles at this point, you got to feel you're definitely in well, the game. Well, I think, I think the, um, what we tried to do at halftime has worked. Mm -hmm. uh, we came out, we put a good drive together and got the touchdown and had good coverage on this kickoff. And I think things are, they, they look at least we feel like they're beginning to come together. And the defense was really able to throw a shutout in the second half, not allowing VMI to score any points. We had, at times, though, the offense still had struggled a little bit. Right, we had a problem with our pass protection there. And here's the big play of the game. Back to pass on a third down, and Cloyce Williams is going to make the interception. Cloyce did a great job. He was uh, covering the curl and looked that ball in and got us an extra five yards after the, the interception. And that's what sets up the, eventually, would be the game-winning drive. Kenny there with a nice pass to Rico. We're fighting the clock a little bit, so we're in a hurry-up sequence. Yeah, you're down to about two minutes in the game. Right. That's Tobias. Did a good job of staying on the sideline, getting all the yards he could, and then getting out of bounds to stop the clock. Right. Nice pass in the flats there to Rico Tut. Right. And a great play by Kenny to save the high snap. We had the draw called, so the little bit of delay didn't hurt any. Great right. block by Rod Russell right there, and then Kenny <laughs> got, did a, a pirouette and... Uh, Got knocked out at the five. That's just uh, great leadership there for the quarterback to make that play and then to have enough sense to keep things going and, and make the play work. Georgia Southern getting down. The clock is ticking away down to about a minute left. Georgia Southern still trailing, but we get down close, and there's your quarterback right. for you. Kenny uh, faked it to Roderick, and they had some. we had some leakage in our line, and mm -hmm. uh, Kenny did a great job of hanging on to that ball and finding the daylight in the end zone. And we add the extra point. And with that, Georgia Southern goes up 20 to 17. And the defense was able to hold enough to allow them to, uh, they attempted a field goal. It got a little scary there mm -hmm. for a while. You know, they, I think they completed three passes and, right. and moved up the field. Now we kept all those passes in front of us, which was the idea. And, and uh, with a careful eye on the clock, but mm -hmm. they still got a chance. Uh, I think it was a 48-yarder, if I'm not mistaken. Right. And it was into the win, so... It was, a, it was a big gamble. A big win for Georgia Southern. And we're going to take a look back at this game and look forward at next week. All of that coming up next on Georgia Southern Football 96.
Welcome back. A big win for the Eagles yesterday at home against VMI. We're now 1-2 and two in the conference. And, Coach, it doesn't get any easier. You're on the road to Cullowee for Western Carolina. It's just another game. It's a conference game. It's very important for us. Uh, we have to keep or start a streak and keep it going now. So we're going up there with the idea to win, believe me. That's right. And Western Carolina was in a crazy one yesterday against Furman. We'll have all the highlights coming for you from Cullowee next week on Georgia Southern Football 96.